Hello, welcome to the screencast on using WSO2 API Manager to expose integration SOAP services as managed APIs. I am Sajid Alianage, Senior Software Engineer at WSO2 API Manager team. Today, I will first explain you how to expose integration services as managed APIs using WSO2 API Manager service catalog feature which released with API Manager 400. Then I will show you a demonstration of complete flow on how to write the integration proxy service and deploy it in WSO2 Microintegrator, then publish it in the WSO2 API Manager. Also create and publish a managed so pass through API from the deployed service, then the maintain and the manage API created from the service. From API Manager 400 release, you can now expose integration services as managed APIs in the API marketplace. However, this feature was only for integration REST APIs. With the API Manager 410 release onwards, now you can expose your integration proxy service, which is a SOAP service, as a managed API using the same feature. As in integration first development for REST APIs, diagrammatically workflows to expose SOAP service will be as follows to WSO2 API Manager. An integration developer first develops an integration service using WSO2 Integration Studio and deployed it in WSO2 Microintegrator runtime. Once it deployed, its executor publishes the integration service to the API management layer. This service will be then discoverable in the catalog of services in the API publisher portal. Then API creator converts the integration service to a pass-through SOAP managed API by applying a quality of services such as security, payout limiting, etc., and making it ready to be published to the developer portal in API manager where the API consumers can finally use this API for their development. Let's now move on to the demonstration of this capability in API Manager 410. Here, I have already started Integration Studio 810 and API Manager 410. In Integration Studio, I have created an integration project named as Proxy Service Sample and inside the proxy service config module, I have created a proxy service which has a custom business definition. You can find out this proxy service artifact from the WSO2 API Manager docs as well. From Integration Studio 810 release, once you create a proxy service, now you can see a YAML file has been created under this metadata directory, which contains all the metadata information about this proxy service. As you can see, it has a key for this proxy service, also a display name, as well as a service URL to invoke this proxy service. Now open the POM file under this composite exporter module and ensure all the required artifacts has been selected. Now we need to configure the embedded microindicator runtime. For that, we need to provide the properties by uncommenting to make the connection with the API manager. So now we can run this proxy service in the embedded microindicator runtime. For to do that, we can right click on the composite exporter module and select the export project artifact and run option. Again, ensure that all the required artifacts have been selected in this wizard. Let's click on the finish button to start the embedded microintegrator server. Once the server started successfully, you can see the proxy services also deployed in the microintegrator runtime successfully. Also, you can see the successful updated the service catalog entry in the console. Now, if you move on to the service menu, you can see the stock card proxy service we have created. Click on the plus icon. Now you can see all the required fields are populated in this view. Now let's create the pass through API. Now API is created. Let's deploy it in the API manager. 
Now let's publish the API. Now let's do some changes and we deployed this proxy service in the micro integrator and see what happened in the API manager side. After the definition, it will reflect the changes as outdated definition. Now let's move on to the visual definition view and you could see its definition has been outdated. Now, if you select this outdated definition button and you can see the difference between the new and all the visual definitions by clicking this show diff button. In here, you can re-import the new visual definition into this password API. You can find some useful links below which help you to work with integration first development. You can access these from the links to the slides available in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the screencast. Please join in with WSO2 for more content like this. Thank you and have a good day.